Hey guys, Brimman117, welcome back to the channel and a very exciting series of videos I'm going to be putting together for you covering the latest pictures and information Mega Constructs have released on their brand new, soon to be out line of Halo Infinite Mega Construct sets. We're going to kick off with taking another look at the Pelican inbound set GNB28. Okay guys, so I know we saw this set debut at the New York Toy Fair earlier on this year, but we now have additional imagery and we have the official set description from the Mega Constructs website. And it reads as follows, features large Halo Infinite inspired UNSC Pelican aircraft building set with posable wings, cockpit hatch, working landing gear, and a secret opening that reveals a hidden interior. Two in one building toy, choose to build the Pelican or a UNSC compound with fortification barrier, forklift vehicle and space rocket and more. On the product description, the Pelican is on its way, modelled after its appearance in Halo Infinite. This massive dropship features posable wings and other parts, a cockpit hatch and a working landing gear. Open it up to reveal a hidden interior featuring where Master Chief was brought back online. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that's me sold. I'm getting this. It looks absolutely amazing. The description makes it sound so much fun. A um, couple of notes on the features there. The working landing gear sounds interesting. I'm not sure exactly what that means, whether it's retractable or not, but I'd be interested to see what they've done with that. And also the secret opening, the hidden interior. Now, this is the feature that we've all seen where the back of the Pelican opens right up to basically turn it into a play set that makes it a lot easier for you to interact with. Now, I'll be honest, when I first saw this, I was very skeptical as to whether I felt I needed that, or whether it was necessary. But now I've seen these additional images and I've become more accustomed to it. I think it's absolutely the right choice. This image here really shows off what this set's all about. And although I know there was a lot of people suggesting they would have preferred if there was more seats in the back, but I think this was the better way to go. I think very few people will buy this set and be disappointed by this play feature. I think once you've got it and you've built it, I think many people are gonna agree that this was the right way to go. We've also been given some additional images of the UNSC compound alternate build that comes in this set, with it being a two-in-one set. Now, again, I don't know whether this is going to be for me. I will absolutely build it and we'll know whether I like it or not when I do the review once the set's released. But if it came to choosing as to whether I would have this on display or the Pelican, I'm pretty confident I can say at this stage that it's going to be the Pelican all day long. But I will almost certainly build this side of the set simply because it's always interesting for me to try and discover new build techniques that they may have used putting all of this together. What I will say about these two-in-one builds that Mega are doing with this current line of sets is that I've no doubt that it will be very popular with the younger consumers. So I can see why they've done it and absolutely think it's a good step in the right direction. This picture from the rear says it all for me. I think they've absolutely nailed it with this Pelican. They've gone with the retro style of Pelican, which is what the community have been asking for. The color of brick that they've chosen to use I think it's perfect. It's my favorite color brick that they've they've produced over the years. And the overall design, there's so many features in there. The way they've put this together, I cannot wait to get my hands on it to see what new build techniques they've come up with to make this thing work. For those that didn't know, this is a pretty large set. It comes with 2,024 pieces and three micro action figures. Listed on the box is the Master Chief, a pilot and a hunter all of which look absolutely exceptional. I think that we're all going to be pleasantly surprised by all of the figures that come out with this forthcoming line. Now, they don't name the pilot in this set, which is interesting because everybody's speculating that he is going to be a key player in the game that's soon to release. And also the hunter is not listed as a banished hunter, although it does look like it's in the color scheme of the banished. So I guess we'll just have to wait until the game releases to see whether there are banished hunters in Halo Infinite. Just in case that lot hasn't whet your appetite enough for this set, Mega were good enough to release some of these rendered images of the set in action. And they look absolutely incredible. This really does sell it for me. 
So my thoughts and expectations for this set are very high indeed. I'm expecting a really enjoyable build with a really good end result, so I cannot wait to get my hands on this. As soon as this set becomes available to me, I will carry out a speed build video and a review video for you guys. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, make sure you do so you don't miss out on that. Don't forget to give the video some likes, and we'll see you again soon for some more infinite set thoughts.